Today we're taking a look at the Philips Hue Iris Table Lamp. It is a great way to add a splash of color or light to a dark area of your room, just like I have back here. In this video today, we're gonna to be taking a look at what it offers, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at the all new redesigned Iris Table Lamp. So they made a few changes this year where they actually smoothed out the back of the lamp on the inside. So you're not gonna see the ribbed effect that you saw in the previous model. It also has a fabric power cable that just really adds to the premium look of this light. The way that this light works is that it's going to shoot light up into an area, whether that be a wall or a dark corner of a room. And then the back of that light is gonna have a dimmed frosted look of that light too. So it's not gonna be blinding you in the eyes. It's just gonna give you a really nice ambience to the room. Another new feature of this light is its Bluetooth compatibility. So you're gonna be able to download and install the Philips Hue Bluetooth app, and from there control whatever color that you want, dim the light up and down. You're gonna have a lot of basic controls in that app right there. That app can control up to 10 lights at a time. If you wanna unlock even more features, you're gonna to need to buy the Philips Hue Bridge. That is going to allow you to control up to 50 lights at a time, and you're gonna be able to do things like automate those lights, set up away and home routines. So if you leave the house, you can have certain lights turn on and off. You can also set up wake up and sleep routines too. For example, if you wanna set an alarm to wake you up when it's still dark outside, you can have this light slowly get brighter and brighter to wake you up instead of just having the light turn on 100%. But those would be features that would unlock if you had the Philips Hue Bridge. Okay, so now I wanna show you some of the features in the app. If we load up the app right here, we've got the light loaded up. Now it comes pre-programmed with all of these different scenes. So we have got bright, dimmed, night light. So night light, you're not really gonna be able to see because we do have some lights on, but if it was completely dark, that thing gets very low. We've got a relaxed look a read setting, concentrate, and then we've got energize, which is gonna be its brightest. You can also set your own color. So this is one that my daughter set up for pink. We can also go up to the color palette up here and change the light to whatever color that we want to, which is just really gonna be an awesome thing to get some different colors in your room. Pair this up with either other Philips Hue light bulbs or another one of these irises to just get some awesome color combinations in that room. If you don't always want to have color, you've got the option here of adjusting between all of the different white balances. So we've got anywhere from 2000 Kelvin, which is going to be this color right here. And then we're going all the way down to 6,500 Kelvin for this light. A couple other statistics with this light is that this light can operate for 25,000 hours. Now, typically with the light bulb, they calculate about three hours of average use a day, which would mean that this light is going to last over 22 years, which is just incredible. If it lasts even half that, I mean, just even 10 years, I would be happy with that purchase right there. Now, in addition to the different white balances that we have down here at the bottom, we've got our different routines. So these are the, going to be the things that you can set up if you do have the Philips Hue Bridge. Like I mentioned, home and, home and away, we've got wake up, sleep, we've got other routines, you can set up different timers and stuff like that. In addition to the app, we've also got things like voice controls. You can use the Amazon or Google Assistant voice controls to control this light right here. So if I say, hey Google, change the light to purple. We got a purple light. So a lot of cool functionality that you can do with this light right here. And I can't wait to actually get more of these to have just multiple colors scattered all throughout the house. I think that's gonna be a lot of fun to play with. Now I made the mistake of showing this to my little girls. I put this up in their bedroom and I actually even attached the motion sensor to it. So Philips Hue does have their own motion sensor, which is fantastic. I have mine set up so that when it gets dark outside, it's gonna turn on that light. Light will be on for five minutes. If it detects no motion after five minutes, it'll turn it back off. 
but I set this up in my daughter's room and since I have done that, I have not seen the light. They have now taken over the light and I will probably never see this light again. But I gotta say, this has been a really fun light playing around with. It's nice to get a little bit of color throughout the different rooms of the house. Or like I mentioned, brightening up a dark area of a room. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you in the next video.